Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm Amanda. Welcome to the lovely little fam. We would love to have you. Be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Welcome to a week in my life video. I feel like I just started this really weird. It is currently Monday, May 10th at I think oh, almost 12. It's like 11.30. Um, I've been up for like a half an hour. I was up so late last night and I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. I was going crazy yesterday. So we'll do a little flashback to that now. I am disheveled right now. Do we see this? This is, okay. It's 12.40. I just got home and I need to still glue my cap together, use tan remover for the first time, but I don't know what I'm doing, and retan. And I'll also wash, okay, first, no. We're gonna wash my items first because they need to be washed. <laughs> okay, I just like put pimple cream on all over the place threw my dresses in the wash on like hand wash only because I do not have time to do that. I just had to scrub some spots out of my gown. I had it like on my mannequin, if you guys have been watching me for a year. It was on my mannequin and there was one day I was doing makeup and foundation like splattered onto it. And then apparently I never cleaned it. So that's really cute. So I just had to like hand scrub all of this. It's 120. I just glued my words to my decoration, but didn't attach it to the cap yet. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I ran around like crazy today to literally so many different stores I can't even talk about. I almost had a mental breakdown in the middle of Target. But this little angel of a human went in the back and found this for me. I'm trying the Tanologist Tan Eraser for the first time. It says eraser and primer. And so let me show you what we're working with right now. I've been trying to prep so I would be ready to tan for like several days now, which I never do. And my tan will not come off. So, which just, I mean, really goes to prove how good loving tan is. She wants to stay on. But right now I'm needing a fresh tan. The biggest problem I'm having is with my heels. <laughs> Doesn't wanna come off. Doesn't wanna come off. So I figured, I'll let you guys know how this works. So it um, does say to test a patch 24 hours before use, which I cannot do. Um, so it says apply at least three days after initial tan application, apply all over body until skin is totally saturated, lather and leave for five minutes, wash off and shower, buffing skin gently until color is totally removed. So I'm gonna go ahead and like, get in the shower and do this and just like stand in there for five minutes because I feel like I'm gonna make a mess if I don't. And I will keep you guys updated on how it works. So, let's do this. Okay, you guys, so I'm out of the shower. Um, I used the tan eraser. It's almost three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I feel like it works partially. Do I think it's like this unbelievable, amazing, magic product, no. But I do think that it helped. Um, I will say you can kind of feel it burning on your skin. I don't really know what the science is behind that product working. If it like kills off the top layer of your skin to get it to come off, I really don't know. I still had to scrub very hard. I still ended up like taking a bath to let it soak and scrubbing harder. So while I think it did make slightly a difference because I have been scrubbing for several days and like haven't been able to get my ankle clean, it's still not perfect. As you can see, there's like still just like some discoloration. I think this is really just red from rubbing it honestly, but um, it's not perfect. I also bruise like a peach, so just ignore that. <laughs> So I do feel like it made a difference. I feel like there are some reviews out there that are like, this thing doesn't work. I think it does work a bit, but I did still use my Loving Tan Tan Eraser Mint, which is like one of my favorite products literally ever. I don't think any of this would come off without it. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and tan. I don't know how I'm gonna tan my back because Evan 
to sleep because it's three o'clock in the morning. So let's figure that out. <laughs> okay, we are tanned for the night. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I was using just really quick. And I'm going to bed because I think it's like 3 30 in the morning. I am trying out the ultra dark uh, Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse for the first time. I usually use the dark, I believe. And so I ran out and I went out and bought it on my own. And so I wanted to give this color a try. So we will see how it looks in the morning. And then like usual, I go in and you can tell this is well loved. <laughs> I use the uh, Deluxe Gradual Tan in dark on my hands and feet. And then on my face, I use the Deluxe Face Tan in dark. So, um, and I use like an applicator mitt to apply everything except my hands, feet, and face. So I guess my whole body to do the mousse. And then I just rub in the lotion with my hands on my feet and on my hands and on my face. So we're gonna go to bed. Okay, back to where we left off. So, I woke up, my tan is looking nice. On my hands, I definitely applied too much on the palms, but that's okay. The rest of me is looking like, it looks rough on camera, but I'm telling you, it looks seamless in person. So, I think I'm gonna like the dark, that ultra dark mousse. I don't see a huge difference, maybe I will when I wash it off. I'm gonna let it sit for a bit longer. I'm supposed to let it sit till at least 11. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for probably a little bit longer. I'm gonna go check my grad cap, give you guys a little sneak peek, and let's do it to make sure everything is glued down. <laughs> okay, I just had a minor freak out because my cap kind of not glued on, not that straight. So, you can tell there's like space here and space up there, which, it was gonna drive me crazy, but it also just took me God knows how long to get my tassel under there. So I'm thinking it's just going to be staying. But if you guys were on my lives with me, you know that I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do for my grad cap. We finally figured it out. Absolutely lovely. Evan's parents gave me a cute little balloon. I think I'm gonna go wash the tan off now. It's like 12 o'clock and start getting ready. Let's do it. Hello fam. We're here, we're ready. Running a little behind the schedule, but we're still gonna be fine. So, we're here, we'll get a little outfit shot. Um, I'm gonna give my mom and Evan the camera, so hopefully they can get a clip when I walk, we'll see. Ready to grand way, baby! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> they got it wrong. <laughs> they got it wrong. They got 2021. They didn't turn their been a few days since I've talked to you in the past few days I've just been like kind of recuperating from a long weekend and getting some work done and stuff so we're back at it it's Thursday and I'm very excited for today it is the day that we're kind of celebrating my birthday Evan got me Red Sox tickets for my birthday if you don't know going to Red Sox game is like my favorite thing ever so I'm very 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 excited and so it's like 1 30 now we've been up for a while I already showered um, we ran out, got some Starbucks, and I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I need to figure out my outfit, so I'll show you guys some outfit options. So, let's get ready. Okay, it's a mess in here because I just threw a bunch of outfit choices here, but we have the first one. I probably wear different pants if I wear this. We have my jersey, like a little crappy thing underneath. It's probably going to get cold later, so... Option one, Evan thinks the first one. Here's another little option. Another one. Diamond. Our train. Entering Wabin. Doors will open on the right. <laughs> car we just went to wendy's and mcdonald's and i have no idea where we are but uh, i'm so hungry that food was not an option um i wanted that chicken cheese thing i think i told you maybe not i don't know i wanted this chicken cheese thing so bad and it was outside of the park and they were closed by the time the game was over but it was okay because the game was so good it was like the best game I've ever been to. Mix that with the time I sat on the Green Monster and wow, heaven, it was so good. Mama's got her Baconator fries, her large McDonald's Coke, and we are truly thriving today. So, a um, little sleepy, but we're trying to pump it up because we, I don't even know how far away we are from home. I, I have no idea. If I had to guess, I would say an hour and a half, but I really don't know. It's midnight. These Baconator fries are hitting diff. My guesses are when I get home, I'm going to be so exhausted. So I'm not going to talk to you again tonight. And, yep. 